So John Stutzman, the head coach of the UB Bulls, going to join us here. Uh, coach, we're making a habit of this, having you uh, join us at the table. That means that you continue your winning ways. Congratulations in this one. Let me ask you, was there any concern at all about handling maybe some sort of emotional letdown after that huge victory over Central Michigan last week? And how did you keep your kids in the right frame of mind? We're flat a little bit today, to be honest with you. You know, a little flat, but it's a long year. So you're just trying to get through the year on a positive level. But, you know, they had some guys out, you know, and those guys wrestled pretty hard. Ohio, they're a good team. But, you know, it's a Mac match. So if you can't get up for it, then there's issues, right? So, right. <laughs> but uh, we did a good job. All, all in all. Tell us about Derek Spann and the job he did. Uh, that was a, a great way for you to really kind of jump out to that, to that lead early on. Well, Derek Spann, that guy beat us two years ago, 15 to five. So um, the, the, to get that win, that shows Derek Spann, his progression he's made inside this program. Um, you know, Derek should be going to the national tournament. He's that good and he worked his tail off and he's probably one of the top five guys I've ever had work as far as workload. So he's just a spark plug. <laughs> Uh, Coach, tell us a little bit. Last weekend, you beat CMU. It's the first time in program yep. history. You defeat Ohio U here today. Their record is coming in today with 17-3 and three against uh, UB. Yep. Talk a little bit about how that kind of helps build momentum leading into the the MAC championships. Yeah, I mean, the MAC championships where it's at, right? I mean, that's a good team. They're, they're going to be in the mix to get top three in the MAC tournament, and, and I'm hoping we are too, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we want to be the team in the MAC, you know, and that's kind of always been the goal. It's always been the philosophy, and – we just got to keep progressing. What does it say about your program, too, Coach, that you can now, you know, beat these schools and these teams that traditionally you've had so much struggles here at right. UB against? Well, I just think that, you know, personally, I, you know, it's good. It's, you know, being an alumni here, you want to see this place excel at the super high level, and and I think we got the the kids to do it. We got an unbelievable recruiting class coming in. I think it's just going to keep going, and you know, we wrestle hard and we try hard, and I think that's the name of the game. Quick turnaround for you. You got a Friday afternoon match against Northern Illinois right here. Big one. I worked at Northern for a little bit, so okay. I, I understand those guys. I understand the culture there in that town. They love wrestling. Um, it's a big match because if we get, uh, uh, I don't know if people know this, we just tied most wins in MAC history. You know, we got four, right? We beat Northern Illinois. That's, that's, that's outright second place in the league this year. We've done that in the past, but not with the Missouri and the Old Dominion inside our league. So, it, once again, it's all progression. And real quick, Coach, before we let you go, uh, just a word on your seniors. We honored eight seniors here today. I know they do have a match at home on yep, Friday, yep. but a quick word on this group. Uh, unbelievable. They they, <clears throat> they took a chance. They took a chance when we were down and out. And you know, those guys are part of the five wins, the 10 wins, the 11 wins, the 11 more wins. So those guys took a chance on this program. We are down and out. And so a lot of respect for them. Well, congratulations, and I, I can feel it, feel it, and see it in your voice and in your emotion. How much you care about those those yeah, young men them. and everybody here. Yeah, they're great kids. All right, congratulations, coach. Good so, luck on Friday. Thank you. All right, that is head coach John Stutzman from Northern, uh, from, excuse me, from Buffalo. They take on Northern Illinois on Friday. That'll be the the final match here at Alumni Arena, and then they go to Penn State, and then it's the MAC Championships, of course, Charlie. But uh, that really caught me. And uh, you are a former teammate there uh, of John Stutzman. Uh, what does it mean to see him be so emotional about this group of seniors? It's it's just raw. It's his natural reaction. He loves the sport of wrestling. He loves his athletes. He's committed 100% to the University of Buffalo. He's, he's doing an amazing job, and you can just see that passion right there. And when he says they took a chance, I, I believe that. I mean, you know, they, they didn't have to come here to Buffalo. They took a chance on Buffalo, and they're all being rewarded right now. Absolutely. All right. Congratulations to the UB Bulls and John Stutzman. A big 26-12 victory here today over the Ohio Bobcats. The winning ways continue for Buffalo, and they're going to keep it rolling, and they're tried to at least on Friday against Northern Illinois. For my partner, Charlie Voorhees, for everybody here behind the scenes at Alumni Arena, we thank you very much for watching this today. Congratulations to Buffalo. This has been a production of ESPN.